Okay, I should be back in an hour. If my desk phone rings, just ignore it. I don't answer it anyway. You shouldn't tell me stuff like that. Where's Gina going? That's like the third time she's taken off this week. She has a doctor's appointment. You know what that's code for? She's taking a nap in the furnace room. Is that what you do? Because you really should go to the doctor. When you breathe, it sounds like someone's shaking a bag of quarters. You're right. I'll go to the doctor right now. Sarge? You think Gina will be okay? She says the doctors can't be sure, but they're optimistic. Apparently, she has something called Ansel Elgort syndrome. Oh, oh my God. Gina. Oh, you fools. That's not a disease. Ansel Elgort's an actor. Did none of you see The Fault in Our Stars? No. Why did you? Teenage romance, dying chick, oxygen mask. Checks all my boxes. Ugh. So what's really going on with Gina? Wait. You don't think... That she hates work and doesn't want to be here? Yeah, I do think. No, that she's pregnant. It all makes sense now. Last week, I brought in unpasteurized boar's milk, and she refused to drink any. Not a real convincing argument, Boyle. No, I think Charles might be right. Yesterday, I asked her to go for a drink, and she said, that sounds like a nightmare. Oh, Amy. OK, just give me this, please. I feel so much better about myself if it was because she was pregnant. Oh, my god. Look what Gina was working on. Volcano, tibia, your honor, concretius, the enigma. Oh, she's lost her mind. No, look at what the file is called. Baby names dot doc. You guys, Gina's gonna have a baby. Now remember, if she's expecting, she'll tell us when she's ready. I don't know how she could keep this from me. I'm her brother. I mean, when Genevieve and I knew we were gonna adopt, I told her immediately. You told everyone. Put your hands up and start clapping for me. Cause I'm gonna be a daddy. Ah, thank you. You're gonna need to hold your horses and respect Gina's privacy. <sighs> Fine, I will. What the hell? Is she drinking coffee? Boy, oh no! What are you doing, you psycho? What are you doing? You shouldn't be drinking caffeine. That can stunt the growth of your baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, your baby. Excuse me? What are you trying to say? Nothing. We don't think you're pregnant. Sharon's pregnant. Uh, that's not true. God, I hope it's not true. <laughs> what if Sharon's pregnant? Well, it would appear you've figured out my little secret. Oh, we don't know no secret. You be crazy. I always talk like this down at Kokomo. Okay, it's fine. You might as well know. I'm with child. Congratulations! Yes. I'm gonna be an uncle. I'm gonna be an uncle. All right, someone take a picture of me kissing your belly. Negative. Get out. Okay, fine. But you have to tell us everything. How do you feel? What do you do? Oh my god, I don't even know who the father is. Who's the father? Who's the father? Well, let's just say he's a destroyer of worlds, and I am his moon and stars. Amazing. <laughs> I still need his name, phone number, and shirt size. I have a fun group Halloween costume idea. I won't tell you what it is. It's three men and a baby. You're Gutenberg. Right, well, I would love to give you that info, but there's one little problem. <clears throat> I signed a non-disclosure agreement which bars me from revealing his identity. Wait, is he famous? <laughs> is it Batali? Charles, she can't say. Is it Batali? Legally, I cannot say. I'm so sorry, guys. But I can give you a hint, and that hint is he real famous. Oh, y'all are agog. Textbook agog. Come on, fetus. Let's bounce.